guys and welcome back to another Big Al's Big Weapon video. Um, this video is going to be a quick one, it's a, an unboxing video actually because uh, I received a box of uh, these pair of Francisco axes today um, and I was actually taken by surprise, I didn't expect them um, so soon um, and um, when I, I, if I'd known they were the Francisco boxes, I would have filmed the opening the box, but I had no idea what was in there. Um, but this is what was in it. A nice pair of Francisco axes, um, hardwood um, shaft, um, fully functional steel heads, and I'll get into the details of them um, in a second video. Um, they actually come with a nice axe sheath which that is a nice touch. I do like that because these blades are actually very sharp. Um, well, I say the blades, this one is. Now, this is an, actually a negative review, even though I'm, I'm really happy with this axe. That axe is fantastic, I love it. Um, but I am very disappointed with this one. I ordered them from the same um, seller. They're produced by the same manufacturer and just ignore the colour in the wood because, and the you know, slight different shape in, in the wood because wood's going to differ all the time, um, especially if it's taken from a different sort of you know uh, plank or trunk or whatever of wood. Um, it is going to vary. I'm not bothered about the colour difference or anything like that, those lines. It's just that for some reason this one feels much more cheaply made than this one. This feels like a hardwood. This one doesn't. The wood feels. Fragile. It feels fragile. I could get over that. I could get over that as maybe me being paranoid. But what I hate about this one is the axe head is 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 loose. Um, I'm trying to. Can you see that wobble? I don't know if you can pick it up on camera. It's it's loose. Um, this one tight as a doorknob, right? But this, this, the axe head is loose and you can feel it when you're swinging it. It's almost as if it's gonna sort of come off. Now it should have been bottom uh, hafted um, and I'll have to check quickly. I think it has been bottom hafted. That one definitely has. You can see a difference in the wood. It's thinner here and thicker up there. Here though, I can't see, There, there is a difference. So what I'm gonna have to do, which I shouldn't have to, you know, when you buy something, you expect it in a usable format, um, especially if it's brand new. Um, I'm going to have to ha re-haft this myself. I'm either going to have to get a new one of these, uh, take the axe head off and put it on a new one. But what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to just take a hammer. I'm going to try and push this further down the haft. Um, it's already quite a bit down, uh, so there's not much room to go. But if I can just push it maybe half a set, but maybe a centimeter further down where the wood is thicker, this should be held on a lot firmer and will lose the wobble. That's what I'm hoping. Um, and um, well, <laughs> here's hoping. I'm just going to pause the video and come back with a hammer and show you hopefully me fixing it. All right, again, guys. So I'm, I do apologize if there's a wobble to the camera. Um, I'm obviously doing this one handed to try and show you what I'm doing. Uh, ideally this is a two-handed job, but I can at least show you the principles and it's simple You're just trying to hit this hammer down Onto the axe head and shift the axe head down now. I might have to now oh, there we go I can hold the axe with the hand holding the camera And with that, we fixed it. That is actually happy days. That is the axe fixed. That did not take a lot. Let's just make sure I did the right axe. Yeah, I did to the right axe. Can you imagine if I was hammering on the wrong axe. Right, that now feels. <laughs> yep, it won't shake off at all. So at least I know that if that gets a little bit on the loose side, it will be okay. But one of the things about these kind of axes as well, is if they're gonna come off, when you're swinging it, if it clips something, 
it's going to only try and push the head up and that's why you're looking for whenever you buy an axe to make sure that when it's uh, in its forging process well not the forging process that's the part of the seal but in its manufacturing process the axe is bottom hafted I'll get into what that means in greater detail at a later date that basically it means that the axe head has not been put on from that end because it's impossible to put on from that end because the wood is too thick but the wood is thinner down here and the axe head has been shifted up like I've just kind of done with the hammer into position but as I say I'll go into that in what makes a good axe a good axe at a later date but now that I've fixed that I'm quite happy um, but it's the first sort of disappointing buy, so to speak, in the sense that there are errors with it um, that I've had. And it's the first time that I've ordered from, well, I, I use Southern Swords, um, the website, to purchase my uh, uh, weapons, um, which is UK-based. It's an easy way to buy uh, medieval weapons that are of half-decent quality, at least, um, in the UK. But this forge is Hanway. And they produce these axes whereas normally I use windless steel um, forge which is in my opinion so far from my experience a better forge but uh, well uh, my Dane axe is from a, an individual as well up in Scotland Paul Brennett I think it is but my favorite so far is windless steel but this this has been the most disappointing I've got to say it as it is guys I have been disappointed with the difference in the two axes the fact that i bought them from the same supplier from the same time it's not the supplier's fault it's the forger's fault um that there is you know somewhat of a fairly big difference between the two axes um, however having fixed that it makes me not trust the product so i'm going to have to be careful if i use these inside i don't want the axe head to fly off and hit someone or the tv or something but um we'll do another review at a later date to say how these have fared up I'll do a spotlight focus review on what these axes are as well um, in, in very soon also. Thanks for tuning in guys, see you soon.